Uh, I'm excited to join you and represent Capital One as part of this year's reInvent conference. Most of you know Capital One as a credit card company. We're one of the largest in the United States with over 70 million accounts. Many know we're also one of the nation's largest banks. Fewer, however, realize that we're also a founder-led, 20-year-old technology company and the nation's largest digital bank. Digital is truly the new bank branch. And what's especially striking is the degree to which mobile has become the preferred channel for our customers. Mobile usage is now twice that of web, and mobile is moving away fast. It's clear in our business, we really need to be great at building amazing digital experiences for our customers. We have to be great at building software and data products if we're going to win where banking is going. So at Capital One, we have to model ourselves on the best technology companies out there. We are investing massively to hire great engineering talent at Capital One. We have an open source first philosophy for how we build our software at Capital One, and we contribute back to the open source community. We're a 100% agile shop, and we employ DevOps in order to speed our software delivery. All of our development is done in a REST API microservices based architecture, and we leverage big and fast data technologies in all of the solutions that we build. Over the last couple of years, Amazon Web Services has moved to play a more important role in our technology strategy at Capital One. Like many large enterprises, we started more in an experimentation mode. In our innovation lab, some of our development teams, it was really a grassroots, developer-driven usage of the platform. But at Capital One, we listen to our developers. And so we've expanded our use of AWS for development and test more broadly. And this year, we've taken a more aggressive stance, recognizing that we can deploy some of our most critical production workloads on the AWS platform. This is a game changer for Capital One. We recognize that we want to be in the business of building great applications for our customers, not in investing to build costly and complex infrastructure. As a consequence, we're focused on consolidating and rationalizing our data center footprint. Our use of AWS is enabling us to reduce our data center count from eight in 2014 to five by the end of 2016 and down to three we project by the end of 2018. So why did we pick AWS for Capital One? First of all, we have thousands of developers building software at Capital One. The ability to provision infrastructure on the fly is huge for our productivity and our speed to market. Elasticity is important to us. Think credit card purchase volume on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. We need to be able to expand dynamically for that demand. And of course, security is critical for us. The financial services industry attracts some of the worst cyber criminals. So we work closely with the Amazon team to develop a security model, which we believe enables us to operate more securely in the public cloud than we can even in our own data centers. We engineer and design our apps for high availability, and the multiple layers of resiliency that AWS offers supports that. And of course, the pace of innovation on the platform, the introduction of new services and capabilities, that's a huge draw for our team. We're either using or experimenting with nearly every AWS service. And the introduction of services for large enterprises has been especially uh, helpful to us. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, our use of AWS is a great draw for talent. You know, the principal reason I'm standing here today is because we have thousands of open roles we need to fill at Capital One, and we want to attract great engineering talent to come work in our organization and join us on the mission that we're on. So now I'd like to make our story a bit more tangible. I want to show you an example of how we're leveraging AWS for one of our most critical applications. I'm guessing that most of you out here in this audience have a mobile banking app on your smartphone. Well, we've just launched a new flagship mobile banking app for Capital One. 
It's available today in the App Store for the iPhone, and it will shortly be available for Android and on the iPad. We're deploying this app on AWS across the East and West regions for reliability and also to optimize performance. And we have either deployed or in the process of migrating our API gateway, API orchestration, some 80 services, and that number is growing fast. We're really excited about this app. It's the product of some amazing design thinking work by our team, and it incorporates some really cool features and functionality. I'd like to show you a brief video demo of our new mobile banking app. Using modern technologies and human-centered design, we're introducing customers to the next generation of digital banking at Capital One. We greet you with a personalized message, and based on your behavior and your preferences, we show you the most important information. Need to pay a bill? We'll remind you. Something new on your credit report? We'll let you know. We also give you the chance to make the experience yours. Upload a profile picture, customize your layout, and make your accounts feel personal. All of these changes will automatically update online and on your phone or tablet. We brought your most frequent tasks up front and made them easy to complete. Want to understand your spending better? We let you view your recent transactions in an easy to understand way. What did you spend on your car last month? We'll help you out. Best of all, the iPhone app is available now in the App Store, with iPad and Android launching this fall. All right, well that's a cool app. Well, thanks very much for listening to our little story here. And the next time you pull out your phone, I want you to remember, ask yourself, what's in your wallet? Thank you. <laughs>